According to how the Rebbe, the previous Rebbe, has established the custom of saying every day a certain amount of chapters of Tehillim, as the Tehillim is divided on a monthly basis. So today, the 27th day of the month of Tammuz, we just said, after Shacharit, the 15 chapters starting 120 to 134, which are the famous 15 Shira Ma'alot, the 15 songs of the steps. What steps? This refers to the 15 steps, the semicircular steps which were in the temple where the Levites would stand every day and sing this daily song. But in addition to this, the Talmud in Sukkot, on page 51 of Adalaf, relates to us the celebration of Sukkot, and particularly Simchat Bet HaShoeva. And the Gemara says the following, the Mishnah, I should say. Mi shelora simchat bet ha-shoeva lo ra'a simcha miyamav. Whoever has not participated, whoever has not seen that phenomenal celebration on every night in the temple, the night of Sukkot, has never seen a party, has never seen a celebration. And the Gemara goes on to say, the man were downstairs in the women's courtyard. The women were standing on an elaborately, specially built balcony, which for them to be able to participate. Everybody was there, men and women, obviously, with proper place for the man, place for the women. Entire night, the dancing, it says, the rabbis were juggling and were dancing. It was lit, lit up, the place was lit up that all of Jerusalem was able to see the light coming out of the Beis Amikdash. Golden candlesticks, a something which was party second to none. And then, after dawn, when it became dawn, the music stopped. The dancing stopped, and then two Kohanim sounded the trumpets. From standing on top of those 15 steps, they went down five steps, and on the 10th step, once again, they sounded those trumpets. And then the Gemara Mishnah continues. They went to the gate of the Beis Hamikdash. They turned around facing the Beis Hamikdash, and then they said, Anu Luka. The Einenu Leka. We are to you, God, and our eyes are towards you. This is reference to refute, unfortunately, what happened in the first temple, where the Jews rebelled and where the Jews turned their backs to God. So in the second temple, they said, We are to you, God, and we are looking out to you. Einenu Leka. We are yearning for you. That's what the Gemara, the Mishnah in, in, in uh, Sukkot describes. And then the Gemara says the following. When did King David make, compose and say those songs? So the Gemara relates, Rav Chizda asked, why did King David compose those songs? And the rabbi replied, because when David and Melech began excavations for the place, of the temple's altar, for the Mizbeach, suddenly the waters of subterranean deep rushed upwards and threatened to engulf the entire planet. So suddenly there was a gush of water that needed to be stopped. So David Amelech wanted to stop those waters from destroying the world. And what did he say then? He wanted to inscribe the name of God on a piece of earthenware and cast it into the waters. Achitoyfel, his teacher, said it's okay. If God allows his name to be erased to make peace between man and woman, then we can erase God's name to make peace between God and the entire world. And exactly that's what happened. He threw that in and the water subsided. And that's when he said those 15 steps, those 15 songs. But why 15? Which name did he put in there? So you put in the name of Yud K. It's a Yud and the letter He. Yud corresponds to ten. He corresponds to five. Godly na God name which, co which corresponds to the fifteen. 
Yud also corresponds to Chachma, the masculine dimension of God. He, which represents Bida, the feminine dimension. Everybody belongs. Everybody is part. So this is what we have. Those 15 songs corresponding to the 15 steps that which represents the infinite ultimate celebration, the highest celebration. And by the way, I'm sure you might think of it, that the 15 also corresponds to the 15 steps of the Seder of the Pesach. So those 15 steps, those 15 Shiram Malos, represent happiness, infinite happiness. The order of the Seder coming out of Egypt. So let us all sing and dance the celebration of Geula with the name of Yudke, and we will all find ourselves hearing the Levim on those 15 steps in the temple.